the challenger, the undefeated Mike, the Rebel Perez. Kazakhstan, the defending champion, the undefeated Mago, Magomed Abdusalamo. So, obviously, this is his preference, Roy, and yeah. he may need it tonight. Yeah, this is his preference, and he definitely will need it tonight, because these guys are... ...and knocked McCline out. In ...has been answered. It's yes, he's much more aggressive. Red left took by Perez, and again, he wobbles out to Salama. I don't think that's a product of Abel Sanchez to uh, go to the bottom of power punch like after... And in the first round, Mike Perez threw punches Perez very significantly in round number one. What I was about to say here is what you're seeing is a highly ele elevated amateur fight, a good amateur fight, elevated to the professional level over three or five rounds. Now they trade shots in round number two. What a showdown in the heavyweight division. Big right hand by Abdus Salama. Yet with any certainty that he has a broken nose, he thinks he has a broken nose, and it looks like he's got a broken nose. We're not doctors, but these two guys are fighters, I mean. <laughs> when was the last time you seen a heavyweight fight like this? And I think the, the, the biggest punch that has to be watched for right now is that overhand left of Abdul Salama. Good body shots by Perez. Right on the belt line, those were well placed. Perez, something he should be trying to do with? No, it's nothing he should be try trying to do because most of the Cuban fighters are very difficult to corner anyway at any weight class. So it's not going to happen the way uh, we think it easily could happen because this guy is a very smooth technician at staying out of corner. Oh, that's what he got to do, land that left hand. That's his best way to try to corner this guy. If he lands that left hand more because he's the taller fighter, then maybe he'll see some uh, outcome that he likes. At this point in the fight, this is the first time I've seen Abdul Salama's power bother Perez. He landed Perez. some shots before, but I didn't see the power starting to bother Perez. I see it now. Yeah, Perez is starting to tire, like I told you the last round. And that's the one Big thing. left hand for Abdul Salama. About a muscle bound fighter like this, sometimes he will tire a little bit. Do very well school oh, fighters. Oh, huge left hand that by Abdul Salama. Fight him. Out of the land, those killer shots. But that's what made Mike Tyson so fascinating. He was such a quick guy to be that small power puncher, and that's what people wanted to see because he was a deadly weapon from round one on. Abdul Salamov is making more and more contact, and by our eyes, it appears the contact is meaning more and more as we go along. Big right hand by Abdul Salamov, body shot by Perez. I don't know if Perez wants to trade hooks with Abdul Salamov like that in the middle of the ring. I don't think he wants to trade lefts with Abdul Salamov, especially looking at Abdul Salamov's daddy's hands yesterday. His daddy has a set of bear claws on the end of his wrist. I've never seen bigger hands. I've never seen a pair of hands like that in my life. Great body shot, shot by, shot by Perez. Perez. Fourth round, but again, Abdul Salama has never as a professional fought. Never really got to. I don't know if his skill is all the way. That was the holy grail for a while. <laughs> Mike Perez is gaining confidence here. You see him just lick his tongue at Abdul Salam. I think he got caught with some big punches early. Okay. Like that. And I think they're making him keep his hands at home a little bit more. Perez. Uh, it's unclear at this moment what the story is. Episode. I'm very. Statistics from a tennis match. Oh, Perez got 138. Last round was Abdul Salamov's round. Remember this, everybody. Ibi Abuchi and Tua are on a higher level. Holyfield and Bow. Remember what a good heavyweight action fight looks like. You know what, though? This fight here is much more higher skill level than any of those fights here. It has to be big pain, and he's not showing any at all. And I tell you what, he just landed another beautiful left uppercut on Mike Perez, and Mike Perez doesn't... ...on Mike Perez, and Mike Perez doesn't... I might have said right 
cheek at one point. Let's be clear, it's the left side of his face that is swelling up like that. And again, the key punch. The right hook has been causing problems all night, landed by Mike Perez, right on that orbital bone, or whatever it is that Jim says swollen. over. His corner is my face swelling up. It feels as though it's badly swollen. So he's preoccupied with that as he goes to work here in round seven. Harold, how do you have it so far? <laughs> okay, Jim, I'm gonna four rounds to two. 58, 56, Mike Perez. You know, Jim, uh, in rounds five and six, it just appeared that Bago was out of gas. More than Mike Perez was. I mean, I thought Mike Perez won rounds five and six, you know, to take them. I'm very impressed with the talent of Mike Perez. Well, that, that's ex an example of what I used to try to tell Max about the Cuban fighters as amateurs. It just exposes itself when they get to come over and turn professional. That is the top notch of amateur boxing right there in front of you. It's not, a, it's not an accident that when the Cubans weren't in the 84 Olympics, we won a million gold medals. Hey, they weren't in the 88 either, but I was looking for them. I can't lie. <laughs> Thank <laughs> Kevin Leo Duvall here. Never got a chance to. There goes a big left hand. Good left hand by Abdul oh. Salam off his best punch of the round. Oh, good and he ball. lands a right hook. Good left hand by Abdul Salam. I think Abdul Salam has done enough since we were talking. Maybe stop Perez either because we didn't expect him to come in and be able to go toe to toe with this hard punching animal, Abdul Salam. Oh, Perez has shown a, a, a real good beard. Heart, conditioning, skills, tremendous ability. They both put on a show here in what has been an amazing heavyweight fight so far in Madison Square Garden with the main event still to come. This is why we used to dream of seeing fights like Tiafilio Stevenson versus George Foreman or Tiafilio Stevenson versus Muhammad Ali because Tiafilio Stevenson was one of those great Cuban heavyweights. Now we get to see it now, rigging down with these guys <laughs> exactly. turning pro and schooling the best fighters in the world. Oh, the problem is, we as Americans don't have a good heavyweight. Perez landed that beautiful left hook high on the head this time, but that's been his money punch all night. Schedule 10. And you can see that on Harold Letterman's scorecard, Mike Perez, the unofficial scorecard, Mike Perez is in control, oh, and... <laughs> you know, Abdus Salamov sees a kindred spirit in Provodnikov. There are levels of heart. Salamov not only fight back, but fight back in a way that shows that he still believes he can win. Takes another big shot from Perez as Perez backs him into the corner. Oh, Halfway through the ninth round. Three-punch combination by Abdus Salamov. Not to suggest that anything is broken in his spirit, but he looks like when he fights now, last several rounds, he knows he's fighting an uphill battle. And maybe it's not so good for him. Take advantage of the situation. Right, but both of these guys are very experienced fighters. So like I said in the first round, or excuse me, like I said in the opening on camera, despite Abdus Salamov's glittering knockout record, there's a good chance the fight will go to Oh! Balance. Oh my gosh, what a left-hand shot. Oh no, Jim. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> don't back off now, Jim. <laughs> these know, guys Jim. aren't backing off. I don't know, Jim. If he get caught one more of those, we might see something strange. This is two good heavyweight fighters, you hear me? Perez just flirted with another possible low blow penalty as he landed one right below the belt line, but it was on the other side of Benji Perez. Or Benji Estevez, I should say. And Perez has... This is round 10, the final round of the round. Fight the ninth round, you know, I called the 10 8 beating. The oh, good left hand by Perez. Great body shot by Perez, but he's taken a lot this round. Oh, oh. almost went down from the jail. Ever been down, almost went down there from the jail. That could be dangerous for Perez. He better be careful. Win the fight punches. 
when he was rocked like that in the 10th round of a brutal fight. Oh, good hook. And good left hand by Abdusalamov. Tremendous show of courage by Abdusalamov. Tremendous show of skill by Mike Perez. Tremendous heavyweight fight, and it's been a while. <laughs> Rock'em, sock'em action enlivens the heavyweight division. In a fight that I never dreamed could go the distance. Michael Buffer has the numbers, so let's find out who won the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 heavyweight rounds, we go to the scorecards. 97-92 from Julie Letterman. John Stewart has it 95-94. Don Trella, 97-92. All to the winner by unanimous decision. Still undefeated and the new champion, Mike the Rebel Perry.